an anthology of readings of Almighty God's words. Many are called, but few are chosen. I have sought many on earth to be my followers. Among them are those who serve as priests, those who lead, those who form the sons, those who constitute the people, and those who do service. I draw these distinctions in accordance with the loyalty man has to me. When all men are differentiated according to kind, that is, when the nature of each kind of man has been made clear, then I shall number each man among their rightful kind and put each kind into their fitting place so that I may realize my aim of salvation for mankind. In turn, I call groups of those I wish to save to return to my house. Then I ask them all to accept my work in the last days. At the same time, I differentiate man according to kind, then reward or punish each on the basis of their deeds. Such are the steps that comprise my work. I live now on earth and live among men. All men are experiencing my work and watching my word. And with this, I bestow all the truths to each of my followers so that they may receive life from me and thus have the way to follow. For I am God, giver of life. During my many years of work, man has received much and given up much. Yet I still assert that man does not truly believe in me. For man merely acknowledges on the surface that I am God and does not agree with the truth I speak, much less practice the truth that I ask of him. That is to say, man acknowledges only the existence of God, but not that of the truth. Man acknowledges only the existence of God, but not that of life. Man only acknowledges God's name, but not his substance. Owing to his zealousness, man is abhorrent to me. For man just uses words pleasing to the ear to deceive me, and none worship me with a true heart. Your words carry the temptation of the serpent, and your words are haughty to the extreme, simply as if the archangel had expressed them. Moreover, your deeds are worn out. Your immoderate desires and covetous intentions are offensive to hear. You have all become moths in my house and objects of my detestation and rejection. For none of you are lovers of the truth, only men who favor blessings, who wish to ascend to heaven, and whom it pleases to see the magnificence of Christ wielding his power on earth. Have you ever thought how a man so deeply corrupted as you, who knows not at all what God is, can be worthy to follow God? How can you ascend to heaven? How can you be worthy to see the unprecedented beauty of the magnificence? Your mouths are filled with words of deceit and filth of betrayal and haughtiness. Never have you spoken words of sincerity and holiness to me, nor the words of experiencing my word and obeying me. What faith is this? Your hearts are filled with desires and wealth. Your minds are filled with material things. Every day you calculate how to gain from me, assessing how much wealth 
and how many material things you have gained from me. Every day, you await ever more blessings to come down upon you so that you may enjoy more and greater pleasurable things. That which is in your thoughts every moment is not me or the truth that comes from me, but rather your husband, wife, sons, daughters, or what you eat and wear, and how you can enjoy even better, greater pleasure. Even if you stuff your stomach to the brim, are you not still little more than a corpse? Even if you adorn your form gloriously, are you not still a walking corpse that has no life? You toil for the sake of your stomach until gray hairs are upon you. Yet none are willing to sacrifice a single hair for my work. You journey, toil, and rack your brain for your flesh and for your sons and daughters. Yet none worry about or give thought to what is in my heart and mind. What do you wish to gain from me? I am never hurried in my work. No matter how man follows me, I do my work in accordance with each step, as in my plan. Therefore, though you may rebel against me so much, I do not stop my work and continue to speak the word I wish. I call to my house all those I foreordained to listen to my word. Then place all who obey and long for my word before my throne. Those who betray my word, those who do not obey and submit to me, and those who openly defy me, shall all be cast off to the side to await their final punishment. All men live in corruption and under the hand of the evil one. So not many of those who follow me actually long for the truth. That is to say, most do not worship me with a true heart or with the truth, but try to gain my trust through corruption, rebellion, and deceitful measures. It is for this reason I say, many are called but few are chosen. All those called are deeply corrupted and live in the same age. But those who are chosen are only that part which believes in and acknowledges the truth and that which practices the truth. These men are merely a very minor part of the whole. And from among these men, I shall receive more glory. Measured against these words, do you know if you are among the chosen? What will be your end? I have already said, those who follow me are many, but those who love me with a true heart are few. Perhaps some may say, would I sacrifice so much if I did not love you? Would I follow you still if I did not love you? You indeed have many reasons. Your love indeed is very great. But what is the essence of your love for me? Love, as it is called, refers to a pure emotion without blemish, where you use your heart to love, to feel, and to be thoughtful. In love there are no conditions, no barriers, and no distance. In love there is no suspicion, no deceit, and no cunning. In love there is no distance and nothing impure. If you love, then you do not deceive, complain, betray, rebel, take, 
or ask to receive anything or a certain amount. If you love, then you gladly sacrifice, endure hardship, and are compatible with me. You would give up your all for me, your family, your future, your youth, and your marriage. Otherwise, your love is not love at all, but deceit and betrayal. What kind of love is yours? Is it a true love? Is it false? How much have you given up? How much have you sacrificed? How much love have I gained from you? Do you know? Your heart is filled with evil, betrayal, and deceit. So then, how much of your love is impure? You believe that you have already given up enough for me. You believe that your love for me is already enough. Yet why do your words and actions always carry with them rebellion and deceit? You follow me, yet do not acknowledge my word. Is this considered love? You follow me, yet then cast me aside. Is this considered love? You follow me, yet are mistrustful of me. Is this considered love? You follow me, yet cannot accept my existence. Is this considered love? You follow me, yet do not treat me as befits who I am and make things difficult for me at every turn. Is this considered love? You follow me, yet treat me as a fool and deceive me in every matter. Is this considered love? You serve me, yet do not fear me. Is this considered love? You oppose me in all respects and all things. Is this all considered love? You have sacrificed much, this is true. Yet you have never practiced what I ask of you. Can this be considered love? Careful reckoning shows that there is not the slightest hint of love for me within you. After these many years of work and so many words I have supplied, how much have you actually received? Does this not merit a careful look back? I admonish you. Those I call are not those who have not been corrupted, but those I choose are those who truly love me. Therefore, you ought to be vigilant with your words and deeds and examine your intentions and thoughts so that they do not cross the line. At the time of the end, do your utmost to present your love before me, lest my wrath never depart from you.